In this video, I want to show you how you can use Microsoft Excel 365 to get historical stock price data. Now, there are a number of places you can get it. Uh, a common place that uh, many people get it from is Yahoo Finance. And in many cases, you download it, you put it into an Excel spreadsheet. But if you're going to use it in Excel, why not just um, download it from Excel? And if you have 365, you can do that. So the function you have here, well, before I put the function in, let me show you here. I've put some information we need. The company, um, the start date, the end date, the interval, and these intervals, 0 is daily, 1 is, uh, one is weekly, and 2 is monthly. And then there are going to be some properties so we can determine which things we want. Do we want just the close price or do we want the date and the close price? Right, the volume, etc. So let's pick, I don't know, Amazon, AMZN is their ticker. And so let's get some dates. So, an easy way to get a date, let's say we want to start with today. The end date is today. So you can type in today, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, and it'll give you the date. And suppose we want to go back, let's say we'll go back a year. So I can have equals this date minus 365. So goes back to um, February 2nd of 2022. And let's start with, let's say, weekly data. So what's the function? The function is equals stock history. And we want to put in the stock's name, which is here, the start date, which is here, the end date, which is here, and then it's going to ask you for the interval. So that's number one, that's weekly. And then if you type in a zero, it won't give you headers. If you type in a one, you'll get headers. It'll label. Um, all that information, date, high, low, close, and I'm going to put in, I'll put in all these properties, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So I'm going to put in 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and I'm going to close up the parentheses, and it'll say busy, and here we go. We've gotten some stock price data here. Oops, let me open that up. So we have, this is for Amazon, so we have these, uh, uh, the dates, we have the close price, we have the open price, high, low, and we have the volume, and you can see that it goes down, and we have a year's worth of this. Suppose I want to change this from weekly to monthly. I can just change this number. That's why I put the information over here in separate, ce in separate cells. So let me change that to 2, and now we have just a year's worth of monthly data, okay? As opposed to 52 weeks of data, we have 12 months of data. And I could also do daily, but that's going to be, um, you know, quite a long series here, so I won't do that. Suppose I want to change the company. Suppose I want to look at, uh, oh, Johnson & Johnson, J&J. &J. Again. You see it says busy, and then it's going to get me the new information here. This is Johnson & Johnson's stock prices. So this is a really handy thing to do, a handy thing to use if you need stock price data. So um, if you have Office 365, you can um, take advantage of this feature here.